Hey everyone, my name is Anu and in this video we are going to be talking about something which is very important and a lot of you all have been asking which is, is AI replacing coding jobs? So in this video I am going to break down the myths, we are going to talk about the real hiring scenario, we are going to talk about what skills really matter, whether you are someone who is starting your career in coding today or someone who has already been in this industry for some time. So we are going to be talking about what has changed, what skills that you actually need to learn and a good news is that AI is not replacing coding jobs and in fact there will be more coding jobs coming up. But how it will come up, whether you are eligible for that, whether they will hire you or not, all of that we are going to discuss in the video going forward. So let's get into it. And before we start the video, please make sure you hit the subscribe button, like this video and comment on what is it that you want me to answer in upcoming videos and I'll make sure I cover that as well. So let's get into it. First of all, let's talk about the rise of AI in coding. So the number one use case is that now AI does most of the work, right? AI is able to do the coding part, AI is able to do the testing part. So there are tools like GitHub Copilot, you have other tools like Replit Agent and you have many other, you have Claude, which is there. So these AI tools are there in the market already, which people are using, which software developers are using, which companies are using to 10x their productivity. So if a coding task earlier used to take 5 minutes or 20 minutes, now that is generally completed within a few seconds by just giving a few prompts. So yes, AI is definitely in coding. It's definitely doing the coding as well. So if earlier you had to do all of the coding yourself, now that coding is being done by AI. And earlier there was a shortage of software engineers, right? So many companies, even if they had to build a product, if they had to build a website, they needed a software engineer who would come in and do the coding and stuff. But now they can simply pay some money and get an AI agent which will do that task for them, which will be cheaper than the software engineers that they actually hire. So yes, definitely software engineers, are their skill sets have changed a lot. And if you want to stay relevant, there are some other things that you will have to do, which will go beyond coding. So we will be talking about that. But long story short is that yes, AI does most of the coding and AI has increased the productivity of the developers and even for companies who want to ship their product and launch their product. Now they are using AI agents to do that. So with this shift, it's natural if you think about what is the future of coding skills. Well, the future of coding skills is now a little broader than it was before. So earlier, let's say you just, if you had to get into coding, if you wanted to be a software engineer, the only thing that you had to know was coding, right? So you code in your language, whether you're a first stack developer or you're a backend front end developer, you had to be good at that and that's all. But now there is a special skill set that you have to know, which is how to use these AI tools. So how do you work with GitHub Copilot? How do you work with Cloud Sonnet? How do you work with Replit agents or AI agents in general? Or one thing, one more I'll say is how do you even build these AI agents? So using anything workflows and other things, how do are you actually able to give the right prompts, build an AI agent workflow, which can do the coding task for you? So it's not that you don't need to do uh, no coding. You definitely need to know coding. You have to learn coding as well. And in fact, if we talk about getting into this coding right now, most of the companies are still conducting their interviews for software engineering jobs with DSA and all of these things. So you definitely have to know coding if you want to get into these big tech companies like Google, Microsoft, Amazon, they are still asking data structures and algorithms in their interview rounds. So you definitely need to know that. Once you're in this job, or let's say you're applying to some startup, they are looking if you have those AI skills knowledge as well. So if you know how to use AI, and there we will talk about a few skills that you need to know, which is number one, prompt engineering. You need to know about prompt engineering. How do you give the right prompts? Learn about one shot prompting, few shots prompting. Learn about different prompting techniques which will get you the answer that you need from the AI. So that is one thing that you definitely need to learn about and you should definitely know about. The other thing that you should know is how do you use AI for everything? Now this is very, it sounds easy, but it's difficult to implement that whenever you're going ahead and doing some task, first think about, is there an AI tool which can help you do that task better and faster? If you're already thinking in that direction with that AI first mindset, you're already ahead of many software engineers out there. These are the two things that I'll say that you need to start with first. And once you're good at that, you can start learning about vector embeddings. How do you, you can learn about AI engineering in general. How do you give prompts? How do you write prompts? How do you connect 
given a back end how do you connect that with your front end how do you use gen ai to help you achieve those tasks how do you use gen ai to overall increase your productivity but i would say if you know nothing the best place to start will be by learning prompt engineering the number two will be that you learn about how do you use these different ai tools for everything that you do in your software engineering so overall if you are someone who's thinking about starting your tech career and worried that ai might replace you don't worry about that at all ai will not take away your coding job in fact ai is bringing in more coding job but it's just that the skill set that you required earlier to get into coding was just coding but now you require a product mindset now you need to think about how you can use these ai tools to do the work for you so think of it like earlier you were just a single person who had to know how to do coding but now you're more like a manager you need to know how you will do the work and how you will get the ai to do the work for you so that is how the ai the software engineering job has changed in the ai era and continuous upskilling and learning about these ai tools is definitely definitely important and if you're already having that AI first mindset, that first thinking about how you're going to do use AI before you get into any task, you're already ahead of many people and you don't need to worry about anything. And that's it for the video. This was a quick video where I just really wanted to talk about what are the skills that is important. And I wanted to clear a lot of misconception around AI and how that is changing coding jobs. So I hope you got that clarity and, and I hope you like this video. Make sure you comment below that what is something that you are doing to upscale yourself with AI. I will be reading each and every comment and I always try to reply to all of your comments. So make sure you do that and I will see you in my next video. Until then, bye bye.